What do you see? What could that be that down one. there in the circle? That is a tub right there. There's a tub like right in there. So we got a tub. That's a bathroom group. I'm assuming where that three inch ends, does that end in a 90 for a water closet? Very good. He's wet venting off of what was probably like a double lab or something on the second floor. But think about you walking into this building to do this and you're standing below that bathroom group that's above you. You're instantaneously supposed to be seeing something for piping based on your overall observations and survey before it even gets there. Do you believe that the plumber who did this actually saw the layout prior to doing this piping? No. No, he didn't. So we got a water closet, we got a tub, and we have a lavatory. There's some like really fundamentally sound pieces, even though it looks a little crazy. There is nothing on that picture right now that violates the code, building code or plumbing code, nothing. Could the plumber have made some other choices? Yup. What would be the name of the vent being used for all these fixtures? Scott Sheehan. Be a wet vent. Yep. Very good. It's all the wet vent. Everything is being wet vented. The three by two wires rolled up, the two inch wires rolled up. Here's the vent for this tub. The vent for the tub starts right here. So from this point where the vent starts, the fixture drain portion, because that's the fixture drain portion for the tub right there. If it was inch and a half, it could be out, how long? I forget. Five feet. He left it two inch. Wasn't really 100% sure where the vent started for the fixture drain for the tub when you're wet venting. And a lot of people have a hard time with that. So now you get five feet if you're inch and a half, six feet if you're two inch. Probably would have been a, an even better idea to move this Y a little bit this way to avoid some of that. So when the inspector comes in and doesn't do a double take, a what? what? to like take the curse off of how that looks and to kind of thought it out prior to putting pieces together. Stand there and you look at it for a few minutes and you look at where he drilled the hole because it's a trust joist anyway. Really that whole web is open for holes. There's no one third going on or anything there. Middle third not in play with um, engineered lumber like this. The only thing in play is don't touch that. And don't touch the top one at all. Don't nick it, don't cut it, don't notch it, don't drill it, nothing. But he didn't. He went through the web with one, two, and nine, 16 inch hole. He didn't even oblong it to do a, anything with 45s. Everything was rolled up. Kind of a perfect example of a wet vent, the way it's being done. And even though this is crazy, those were two long sweeps. And then we did a long sweep into a street 45. Nothing wrong. That was a bathroom group, wet vented, everything rolled up. Nothing wrong there at all. Again, but these are things that you're seeing in your heads before you drill holes and land fittings out before you start gluing things together.